Positive Spin, presenting positive, innovative, and solution-oriented news from around the world. On today's show, we'll experience the Venice EcoFest, the largest outdoor green festival in Los Angeles. And we'll see a profile of environmentalist Yuyun Ismawati of Bali, recipient of the 2009 Goldman Environmental Prize. Later, we'll learn how the UN Environmental Program is working with the government of Guyana to protect its gold miners from the health dangers of mercury poisoning. And in our final segment, our associate Bill Miller of Global Connections Television interviews Marguerite Stankis, the creator of the beautiful Peace Dove kites, which were flown at the opening ceremonies of the Olympic Games. Over the past few years, a new phenomenon has grown up in Los Angeles, the Venice EcoFest, which has become Southern California's largest outdoor environmental festival. It brings together 20 to 25,000 people to learn the latest services and products to create a green planet. The event features a wide array of cultural performances representing the diversity of music, dance, and poetry which Venice is renowned for. The festival has wide community support being co-produced by the Venice Chamber of Commerce with support from the Venice Neighborhood Council, Councilman Bill Rosendahl's office, and the Los Angeles Department of Cultural Affairs. The event has more than 150 vendors featuring organic foods, eco-fashions, eco-friendly travel options, and solar, wind, and other alternative technologies. There's also a special children's area and an outdoor art gallery for local artists. And finally, the fun and outrageous One Planet Parade which makes its way down the boardwalk to the festival site. The festival also presents the prestigious Heart of Humanity Award to environmentalists and celebrities who've worked tirelessly to preserve the environment of our beautiful planet. Let's join in the celebration at the Venice EcoFest. Green Revolution is upon us now. It's about reinventing how we live on our planet. It's about building a sustainable future which supports all of life. It's about the way in which we live together in this world and the way in which we treat each other as well as the planet. Here we have sky, we have ocean, we have sand. We have this wonderful spirit that comes in that's just a magical part of being in Venice. And it's artistic, it's cultural, it's creative, it's diverse. At Venice Beach, we kind of capture that energy and that great creative spirit. There are a lot of things we need to do, but coming here today tells everybody that you care enough about today and tomorrow that you're going to make a difference. Each and every one of us here can make a difference because if we don't step to the plate ourselves, it will never happen. This whole event, our whole environmental consciousness is obviously about the future, is obviously about all of our children and grandchildren and uh, hopefully we look at the good examples that are being put on here today and we look at it as the way for the future, the way for our children to uh, break through some of the things that we've done in the past that haven't been very good to the planet and haven't been very smart for the environment or smart for our own health. So when you think about today, think about little guys like this and hopefully we're leaving a better world for them. I believe that in the middle of an urban um, kind of chaos, you can also make pockets of peace and beauty. And that's my intention. Since, uh, since my husband died, I find myself digging holes and putting plants in them. Um, it's kind of become my, my passion. And, um, and I'm doing that up at my farm, and I'm doing that here, and, and it's the one thing that never fails to make me feel good. to fundamentally restructure human society and human activity. 
to get off all fossil fuels virtually and move to renewables and other sources of energy. But the youth around the world get it and they're mobilizing at a rate, as I said, that I've never seen before. And this is a time for this new emerging culture, this green revolution, to come forward and celebrate itself and to establish our identity and in this new movement. Hop on the energy that's happening here because it's about what we need to do on this planet. Because we have a window of opportunity that's very small. One of the teachings of the environmental movement is there's no way to throw anything. There's no a way to throw anything. It's all interconnected. And that's what this is about. But it's also a celebration of life itself because that's what we need to do. We need to celebrate who we are as beautiful creatures, blessed with, with every breath and every heartbeat. second time I've been at the Venice Eco Fair, so it's great. Yeah.